Hello, welcome back to the little Welsh cottage here at the head of the Ronde Vaur in South Wales. It's Saturday morning and we're going to start off with a cup of tea. Right, that's nice and boiled. So I'm going to try one of my Welsh tea bags today. After I finished the last one, the postman came. So we've got one more magnet and it's from Julie in Melbourne, Australia. So I think we're very much covered the globe now. So we'll pop that there. What I'm going to do when that gets full, I do not know. Maybe I'll transfer them down to the shed and we'll put a magnetic wall down there. But let's start off with a cup of tea first. I find, and it could purely be in my head, that milk out of a glass tastes a bit better. It tastes creamier. Right, what am I having for breakfast? I've been awake since four o'clock. And then I fell back to sleep again at about eight. And I don't know what that is all about. It could be because I still haven't got around to putting curtains onto the, onto the windows. But I was thinking this the other day. I should start getting the house ready for winter by putting things like curtains up so that I'm not rushing when winter comes because it won't be long now we've gone past the summer solstice and the nights are drawing in <laughs> I found this the other day now it looks a bit th threadbare but I've had it for years and it's comfy especially on a cold night when you can put your hood up do you have anything that's quite old and falling apart but you just can't seem to throw it out right I would normally have three eggs for the scrambled but today I thought let's do something a bit different so I'm going to go for poached eggs today right where's my vinegar now I'm going out this morning I'm taking you with me so my original plan of cleaning the cupboards will be put on hold because I've got somewhere very special to take you. And we need to be there around about half 11, so I need to get on, not fuss around too much. Do you do that sometimes? You just look in the fridge for something, and even though you, you know it's not there, because what I'm trying to find is a cap and the cap wouldn't be in the fridge. I have a shopping thing coming, what you call it? A, a shopping list coming later this afternoon. So no doubt I will film that and show you what I've bought because I'm finding that since I've had this freezer, I'm not buying as much. Because I can think, I haven't been down to the butchers. What have I got in? And I can open the freezer and there's something there. So this week, the only place I've been is to the homestead and back. I've hardly seen a, a single soul this week. Been a while since I had poached eggs. I think it's possibly the first time I ha I've had them here. So the plan was this morning to go and start planting those flowers and those roses and things. But I'm not going to have time because I want to go to this event this afternoon. So I will start planting them next week where apparently we're due to have a heat wave. If you can hear some crackling in the background, it's the, uh, the the oven. I'm just trying to warm up some water 
for my poached eggs. So next week I will be pl planting all those. Last night we had a bit of rain, so that's good. That's giving them a good old soak. I have one more tree to come, which is a Juneberry. I grew it many, many years ago and it has beautiful flowers in the spring, berries in the summer and beautiful autumnal colors in the autumn. So I thought I will buy one of them and put it on the homestead. What I'm finding is that the homestead is very quickly turning into a garden that I'm taking all the knowledge of the allotments that I've had in the past, whether that is how to do, how to do them or the plants that I've had. And this homestead is very quickly turning into a bit of a memory bank of things that I've grown in the past. One thing I haven't bought yet is rhubarb. So that is for the list for winter. Because it will get to a point where I won't buy any more plants because the garden will be full. And we're getting very quickly to that point at the moment. All right, I'm making toast and I've just remembered I haven't got any butter. That's on the list. I've still got this grapefruit that I need to uh, eat. Right, wait for that, wait for that. I gotta get my phone because I have forgotten over the last few days to weigh things. But my weight is still the same, 18 stone, nine pound. So at least it, ha it hasn't gone up. So what am I doing now? So a cup of tea. I've got to be careful because I keep wanting to pick up those eggs and drink those. So we've got milk and we've got tea. And what else have we got? Right, toast. Right, I'm going to cook my breakfast and I'll catch up with you in a moment. Well, there we have it, poached eggs on toast with a drizzle of sauce and a bit of pepper. Beautiful. It's one of those days today where it's not warm and it's not cold, so I can't decide whether to take my coat or not. But anyway, we're going to a place called The Coffin. Don't get scared, it's just a building. I don't know why it's called the coffin. Maybe it's, it looks like a coffin from the sky. Or maybe it was built by Walter Coffin, who had a connection with some of the coal mines in the area. But anyway, whatever it is, it's just a building. And we're going to go and have a look at the annual Ronda Rose Show. The next stop is Babylon Hotel. The South Westy Babylon. so early they haven't even opened the doors so I'm going to go around the side see if I can get a sneak in a bit early important question is how do you grow them without any black spot? Um, well personally I spray um, but good good husbandry is the, is the key and um, again good varieties, um, good feeding, just good management, it does help.
Well, it was nice to see the show and to smell the roses. I thought I would leave now in order to catch the bus, but just as I came out, the bus is gone. So it's an enforced piece of exercise to go home. I don't know whether... Hello. He's in a rush to buy an ice cream. I don't know whether I'm going to go down the homestead today. I have one more parcel to turn up, which is a table to use as a, as a potting table outside the shed. So I'll walk for a bit and I'll have a think about what I'm going to do next. But it was a great show. It's just a pity more people didn't go and see it. I remember when there used to be a phone box there. I used to come down to listen to the charts and to get a recipe of the day. <laughs> this is Carmel Chapel here. This is where I spent a lot of my childhood helping to put on shows and look after the gardens next door. So these are the streets that I grew up in. Look at this pub here. It's on the side. It is leaning. One day it's going to fall down. Look, you can see by the front, it's just bellowing out. Across the road there, where that CF42 place is, used to be Jimmy Oliver's sweet shop and groceries. Spent many a fun hour in there. It's a bit posh here, look, they've got electric charging devices in the car park. Across the road there, just down the lane, on the right-hand side, I remember there used to be stables down here. There was a farrier where you could bring your horse to get some new shoes. It used to be on the right-hand side here. I think it burned down in the end. I'll show you now the back lanes. This is what we used to call the gullies. Go down the gullies. Just about to walk past the old Taffer's garage. Isn't it strange how, even though the use of this has now altered and it has a a new name to it. It's still difficult not to call it by the old name. Tapper's Garage. Look how wonderful these flowers are. Really beautiful. I was just thinking, seeing as I'm down in Treherbert, I could pop into the new patisserie and see if they're doing a jacket potato or something. I can grab that for my dinner. This is nice here, yeah? a little community garden. They were changing the flowers here this week when I passed. It looks rather nice. Maybe I'll bring some night scented stock down. Because it would be nice to smell that as you go about your business. It was nice to spend some time in the cafe, just chilling out, having a chat, getting to know some more of the locals. I think it's about time I got my tools ready to go down to the homestead. Right, how can I do this? Some meat to you. Right, those are my tools, along with my broomstick. So what else? Must have my basket. I'll take that down as well. What else do we have? 
I'm sure there was oh a knee pad thing. Must have that now, the knees are going. A spade. I didn't realise I had all this here. Maybe I brought more down from London than I thought. Oh, where is... I thought I had a... What do you call it? What do you call those things you put your compost in? Yeah, one of those. I thought I had one. Potting bench thing. Also, these signs need to go down there. Dig for victory. More dig for victory. Uh, quality seeds. Fab ice cream. Who remembers a fab ice cream? And sanctuary for cats. So we'll take those down as well. What else do we have? I think that's all. And then it'd be nice to have this clear. But I th I'm convinced I had a potting thing. But I can't see it, so maybe I just dreamt it. Now, my waitress order's come in, so I don't want to leave, so I probably won't take this down today. It can just sit there for the time being. Why, while we lot have a nice cup of tea. But which one? I've got so many flavours now. I loved seeing those roses today. Hold on, let me just get a cup. Breathe in. I loved seeing those roses today. And I am tempted... Not this year, I don't think, because I need to get on and do my veg. But I am tempted to give those miniature roses a go. But like, like I said, during my free time this week, it is all about getting what I have bought into the ground and also getting a row of runner beans in. A row of runner beans. Get them into the ground. It's been a nice temperature day today. Oh, I need to finish that tuna off. Right, I've got a bit of bread. I can use that up. Yeah, it's been a nice relaxing day. I I walked home in the end. A nice bit of exercise for the for the bodies. Ah, but I haven't got any butter. Mint sauce and tuna. Does that work? No, maybe not. Right, I'm going to get on and grab a sandwich and I'll catch up with you in a bit. My weight rose wasn't due until between eight and nine and they turned up at quarter two. So, now I know how you love a good haul. Apparently, they do a new service now where they'll come in and put it in your cupboard. But to be honest, I don't want any Tom, Dick or Jane coming in and putting their hands into my drawers. So I'll do it myself, thank you very much. So we're starting off with garden peas. What is life without garden peas? Now I know the sugar content is a bit higher compared to your French beans, but you know, it's a toss up, isn't it? Are you gonna be on your deathbed going, I wish I had more peas? Well, I'm not gonna make that mistake and I'm having them. Right, now these were very expensive. They were about five pound. So I've thought I'll treat myself and if they're no good, I'll never have them again. They're Waitrose Chunky Breaded Cod Fish Fingers. Shall we have a look? I haven't decided what I'm having for my supper today. 
because I haven't really eaten today, except for that food I had. Look at that. Now that is what I call a chunky finger. You couldn't fit two, two of them into your mouth on the same day. So we've got them and I've never bought these before, but I thought I would treat myself and I've got some chips, some cut chips. Like I said, it's a first for me. I would always make, make my own, but I thought, you know what? I've got a freezer. Let's, let's use it. Right, sneak them in there now. Right, what else do we have? Yeah, they are. They're all in their silky knicker bags. I have, oh, oh, I can smell these. My usual, if you've seen one of these before, you would know, a pork and red onion sausage and pork and apple sausages. And because now I've got the freezer, I can pop them in there. And I found that when it comes to wanting to eat them, I put them on a low heat while everything else cooks. And I also put a, a lid on top. And in about 10 minutes, they're defrosted. Now, I can't work out why I bought two, two bottles of milk. I seem to think that I was going to run a test. And I think that test is, but I can't remember now what I was thinking. Now, if I'm doing this wrong, tell me below. But I thought I would freeze some milk. Is this right? I got feelings this is going to explode. Wait for, wait for the video in a few days where it says, there's no use crying over spilled milk. <laughs> blueberries, I do like fresh blueberries. And in Wales, we have something called a Winbury, which is basically a blueberry and they are wild on the mountain, really wild. And I thought they came out in August, but I've recently seen somebody saying that they've been up to pick them this week. So we may be on an adventure in the coming week to do a bit of foraging, because I know a little spot. Haven't been there for 25 years, but I got a feeling it's probably still there. Three breasts of chicken. Have you ever seen a chicken with three breasts? And kombucha. I do love a kombucha. And I have felt this week, so I've got ginger, that really gets you going of a morning, and raspberry and elderflower. And this week I have felt that I have missed it terribly. If I'm correct, kombucha looks after your gut and your gut looks after your head. Sky, wee buddy boy, like a bird on the wings, over the fields to sky. I've only bought one this week because I'm maybe buying too much stuff for the fridge and having to eat it quickly. Talking about the fridge, egg whites. These make my eggs last a bit longer. So I usually have two whole eggs and an egg white. Bag of spinach, because I like that with my breakfast. And wild rocket. Two things that I will be growing myself on the land. Right, I can already see that having that milk in there it's going to be an issue. But anyway, we've got two pots of mush mushrooms. There you go. If you think about everything I buy, mushrooms, spinach, rocket, it's, it's all stuff that I could grow myself. And I have grown in the past. Once the, the land is up to speed, I should be saving myself a lot more money.
doesn't take long to, to fill up a fridge. Yeah, don't forget to tell me about this milk now. I don't want to hear a loud bang in the middle of the night. More stuff for the fridge. Sweet peppers. A bit too late now to really put these into the ground as plants. I have a... I have a tip about peppers. Do them in a grow bag. But turn the grow bag up on its side and give it a good shake. Then put your peppers in. And I've had fantastic results doing it that way. Now, those chips I said were a treat. Because my staple is usually sweet potatoes. And I've heard that the purple sweet potato is the healthiest out of them all. But I can't seem to find it. So if you know of anywhere where I can find a purple sweet potato, let me know. Broccoli. Not that big, I must say. And a bit soft. So I'll use that to butter. That's, that's probably one of the poorest ones that, 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 that they've ever sent me. This is a problem when you don't do the shopping yourself. You can't feel it. A cheeky pink lady. And Visto onion gravy. I had a taste in for this this week because I usually have these oxo cubes but for some reason well I know what it is it's been so cold it's felt like winter treats and food for the cats good old Welsh leek now that's a very nice leek that is it's got a nice bit of girth on it and not too much green up the top so we'll pop that there and last but no means least is salted butter because I was running a bit low. And they've allowed me to keep one of the boxes, which is really nice of them. Do you have butter in a butter dish? It's quite an old fashioned thing to do now. And I keep it out because it makes it nice and soft that way then. I tend to use a lot of knobs of butter, that's what makes me go through mine. But I bought this dish from, oh where did I buy that now? Columbia Road Market in London Town. It's very nice and I also bought a, oh what's the name now? Not a big, well, I can't remember now but you, you know the old fashioned knife. So, there we go. That is the shopping done. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea now. What flavor? This is the thing, I've got so many flavors. I have found that when I'm having the Yorkshire tea decaf, it takes a while to get used to it, but I find that it evens out my peaks and troughs. So rather than having a high and then coming down on a low, it tends to keep me on an even keel. But I'll still use all the other tea. I'm never going to waste tea. Sometimes it's good to be on a high when you are doing a, doing a bit of gardening and you want to get the want to get the fork in and spade in and dig a hole. You know, isn't that a, that how you do it? <laughs> right. I'm pretty exhausted today. It's been a relaxing day, but this week has felt as if I needed to catch up on my sleep. I can't remember if I told you, I need to start thinking about curtains because the uh, the windows upstairs in the bedroom don't have any curtains. So no wonder I'm waking up with the birds. Right, I think it is time for a cup of tea. So we didn't get down the home set. I could go for a walk down there now, to be honest. And enjoy the birds. But you know what? Sometimes you just need to say to yourself, it's okay to take it easy like a Cadbury's caramel and that's what I'm going to do tonight I might even crack open a book I bought a book many months ago now and I haven't opened it and it's called something like the man who bought a mountain and it's based in Wales 
Now the reason why I do this, I can see the eagle die, is because I think milk in a glass bottle tastes a bit better. But I'm going to have some kombucha now just to please the gut. Another thing, if you haven't had decent food all day, would you still have food at this time of night? I'm tempted to throw something together, but I'll have a think of that while I down this. Not the whole thing, but it certainly whew, spurs you up. Yes, there you are, I can feel it going around the body and getting me started. Hey, <laughs> right, I'll catch up with you next time. So for me until then, bye for now.